Hey guys, Saints fan here, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the event week that's going on. It's got some pretty good deals and a decent way to make money that's like that you can actually do really quickly and by yourself. But unfortunately, this kind of means that the DLC will not be coming out next Tuesday. Now, I'm not going to say that for sure because these event weeks happen regardless of the DLC schedule. So, like, just because this event week's happening doesn't mean the DLC isn't or, or won't come out next week. But it is looking more and more unlikely. My bet, if if anything, we'll get uh, a Newswire post next Tuesday about the DLC, just giving us some more information, maybe even a trailer. But the event week that's happening from today to the 22nd of next week includes 50% off of everything at the Warstock Cash and Carry. So if you've been looking for some military, you know, Pegasus vehicles, then definitely buy some now. Although be careful. Because, like always, you know, the DLC is, it's going to be coming. So you don't want to be broke going into it, right? Only buy stuff that you think you need. But that obviously means 50% off the Savage, the, the Buzzard, the Hydra. You know, if you haven't bought a Hydra yet, maybe now's the time. This does also mean you may, for the next week or so, be seeing a lot more military vehicles in GTA Online in free mode. So be, be careful, especially if you're doing some CEO stuff, maybe. You might see a lot more Hydras in the air. In addition to the 50% off the War Stock stuff, you get 25% off the Armored Kuruma, which is a pretty essential vehicle, especially for like missions, but I would imagine most people have one by now. And then there's also 25% off of some stuff at ammunition, like assault rifles, throwables, body armor, and ammo. And then if you are in free room and you need some help from the Merryweather people, you get half off of that. As for the double GTA money, so this week it's actually a little bit different. In how they're doing it because normally when they do this double GTA money it's only or it only applies to the playlists that Rockstar make and usually they're not that good but this time it actually I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is meant to happen but it applies to all of the jobs the double money is actually in parachuting jumps and the drop zone adversary mode which doesn't sound that exciting and it's it's kind of not although drop zones eh, it's sometimes fun if you have a full lobby but the parachuting jumps, I don't know, name the last time you've ever done one of those. The the way that you could actually use this to your benefit is that those parachute jumps, from what I've been seeing, whether you're in a full lobby or a you know lobby by yourself, you get paid relatively the same amount. Like some dude said he was in a lobby of 16 people in a parachute jump. He won with the double GTA and he only got $4,000. Whereas if you do it solo... You get $3,000, and obviously, you don't need to worry about coming in anything other than first, because you're by yourself. Now, that's a super low amount. However, what you can do, and I'll leave a link, at least for PS4 people, in the description. There's a there's going to be a playlist that includes a bunch of GTA uh, parachuting jumps, as well as some drop zone modes, that you can literally just do back to back to back solo, and you get... That three thousand dollars every minute because, and this actually comes from Gamer FP on Twitter, one of my followers. So he actually did it, and you can see it literally took him fifty nine seconds, and you get three thousand dollars. And if you have sixteen of these, you know, parachuting jobs in a row, if each one takes one minute, sixteen times three is forty eight thousand dollars, and it only takes sixteen minutes to do that. That's a pretty good, you know, amount of money for that time, considering. That's how much you get in like most missions. That's probably a little bit more than you get in most missions. So if you just want to, you know, be by yourself and get some money in a super easy way, like literally you just need to fall to the, the to the checkpoint and you, you know, and you got it in an hour. That's like $200,000, which isn't a lot, but you know, considering all the ways to make money, that's, it's one of the better ways or it's one of the, the better amounts. And then last but not least, there is a new premium race. It's a bike race. Now, one thing that I'm hoping doesn't happen with this one, because last week, if you guys have played the premium race, there was some glitch where people could use the the RE7B, even though that wasn't the car required. Like, that wasn't the car that you needed to get in it. So, hopefully that doesn't happen again, because obviously the RE7B is the best car in the game when it comes to these races. So, you know, having it against bikes, like, that'd be super OP and super annoying to go against, because you'd lose money. Pretty much every time. Anyway, that is it with the Newsweek. Kind of disappointing Newsweek, to be honest. But at least for some of you newer guys out there, if you haven't gotten any of the, you know, military stuff, I guess you can get that now.
See you all in the next video, though. It's going to be Fashion Friday coming up in a few hours. Hopefully, we get some information on this, this new DLC, this next DLC soon, because people are getting restless in the GTA community. But see you all in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.